as this is um, Cast Vlogs and I have just got Final Cut Pro X and I have to say the program is amazing, easy to use and completely newbie friendly. So if you're new to um, video editing and if you're new to many kinds of sort of editing, this um, program is pretty much made for you, okay? And it will help you on the steps to getting professional. Alright, so pretty much I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to do plenty of tutorials on this um, program. So if, you ha if you're just watching this, subscribe to me because I'll be making a lot of videos on showing you a lot of techniques to um, make a professional video and giving you some techniques to make your video stand out and look unique. Alright, so today we're going to be covering doing a pretty much a voiceover on your clips. So say for example you got um, a commentary you want to do over a clip or you want to do a review on one of your videos. Um, say for example you're doing an unboxing and you want to do a review or you want to talk over it. Um, I'm pretty much going to go over that and show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple and it's very effective. Alright, so what you want to do, first things first, if you're um, actually new and you're recording with a HD PVR, and you're using ITV, what you want to do is you want to export and you want to export um, using HDV 720p and what obviously you just name it, whatever you want um, do not use the H.264 or the MPEG elementary streams because those two um, H.264 is not compatible and MPEG is but the quality don't look good. I find the best quality is using the HDV 720p. Alright, so once you've done that, save that. And to import a clip to Final Cut Pro, you want to import files and you pretty much want to just select it. Make sure it's the .mov one and just import. Um, you can also copy files. So say for example you want to make two copies of this, you can but I recommend unchecking that. Well, you could copy it if you want to be on the safe side. But say, for example, you're not feeling like going back to the clip, you can just bang your head and just bang it on. As you can see, the file is pretty damn big, but it pretty much um, halves the file size once done in this, okay? But this is, um, I don't even know how long this is. Let me just tell you. Well, let me just see. I think this is actually a, see I'm pretty new to this as well, let me just see, wait, 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 do, 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 alright, so I don't pretty much know even how to check, um, change duration, there we go, so as you can see, it's 6 minutes, and it's 4 gig, that is a pretty big file, but, it makes up for it, I have to say, because when you do render it, it go down to about um, 400 meg. Or you can maybe, if you think it's too big for you guys, um, you can also render in a different sort of codec. You don't have to use my one, but that's the one I personally use. Pretty much, if you export any um, of these, any of these QuickTime formats, it will pretty much work. So I recommend just using one of those. Do not use the H.264. You can use all the rest. Um, QuickTime is actually pretty good. So you could use that as well. Alright, so we're pretty much going to show you how to do the commentary over it now. So as as always, you've got the clip. And you want to, of course, you want to add a sort of a colour correction. You don't want to go over the top and add a proper effective, too effective um, colour correction. So... You're just going to give it a nice sort of one. You can obviously go over it by just going onto here and just going scrolling across it and it will actually show you. So we're going to find a pretty effective one. So let's just have a look. Uh, nope. So there's, there's many to choose from. I mean, you don't have to. Um, hard light is actually quite a good one. But it's a pretty too dark for me. So I'm not going to go with anything. Um, you can use um, video colour corrections. But I personally don't. Because I think it actually lowers the quality and don't make it look nice. But yeah, well, let's get ahead and go to the commentary side of it. So when you go here, you want to go to Window, Record Audio. Alright, so 
Um, I don't think you can actually mute the sound, so I recommend just pretty much just muting your um, output volume on your laptop, um, laptop slash iMac. So you pretty much want to select your clips, so where to start from recording, and you just want to do your commentary. So as you can see, when I talk, if I go loud, it go up and down. Okay, so just gonna go ahead and record right now. And as soon as you press record, it's starting to record, alright? So I'm just going to demonstrate. Hey, what's up, guys? This is um, Cast Vlogs, and I got, I've got a team deathmatch on Overgrown. I'm using an M16, and my secondary weapon is the Desert Eagle. And this is the test. Alright, so you just press the stop button, you just press record again to stop. And it's pretty much done. Let's play this back now with sound. Hey, what's up, guys? This is um, Cast Vlogs, and I got I got a team deathmatch on Overgrown. I am using an M16, and my secondary weapon is the Desert Eagle, and this is a test. Alright, so as you can see, that sounds pretty good. And the, um, if you're wondering what microphone I am using, um, the microphone I am using is the Samsung CO1U. Um, my personal opinion on the Samsung CO1U, I think it's um, as good as the Snowball, um, even better in its own unique ways, but it's a lot cheaper, so I recommend getting um, a Samsung CO1U. Operator Perry uses it, some good commentators actually use it, and some good people who do podcasts use it. So anyways, once you're done with your commentary, you just want to go to Share, Export Movie, and another good thing about this, you can export it through YouTube if you wanted to, but this is amazing. Say for example you want the same quality as the actual video, you can also export with the current settings. So it will keep the same settings that you exported, which is amazing. But I normally would just share to YouTube and pretty much just upload it to YouTube. So there we go. And that's pretty much it guys. You can also make the video private. And just say for example you want to upload it a bit quicker, click on faster. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is a Final Cut Pro X um, tutorial. This is Cast Vlogs. And subscribe if you haven't. And please give this video a like. And I'll see you guys later. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.